Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum, and Owen is asking how to parameterize an angle for a 2D surface in space claim. And uh, Owen's got a sketch with a lot of dimensions, and uh, the two relevant dimensions is this angle, which is not just that line, but the entire uh, shape, as you can see here. And the surface turns out to be this area for fluid flow, and it's been, the surface has been divided up to make meshing easier. I'm just going to show a simple example. Here is that, uh, which I got by bringing in his image and uh, tracing it out. So there's just a bunch of curves that I have that uh, went into making this surface. And this um, model has no groups in it. And I'm going to show you on this model how to get to this place where I've created two groups, a, an angle group, where I can come here and type in an angle like four degrees. And uh, those lines all rotate around the, um, and then the other group is the length, uh, which is a simple two millimeter change. You have to click there to get uh, the item to pop up. And then, so these two driving dimensions will show up in mechanical where you can mesh and it'll show up in the fluent. Uh, so in the parameter table, you can pull values from fluent and uh, get results according to these angles. So that's, uh, that's where we're headed in this video. So on to the parameterized sketch. Uh, the way you do that is with the move tool and it's good to have the groups uh, pinned so that we can access the uh, create parameter button when it comes up. But with the move tool, if I double click on that, it selects all the lines. And then if I drag this to the pivot point, once I click on this and start moving, I have the ability to create a parameter. So uh, it's only valid on a few small angles here. So say at two degrees or four degrees, it, it works. But if I click create parameter, I can give that group a name and call it angle. And the dimension is currently set at two. So that's all I have to do. And uh, just to repeat that exercise, if I come and make another move, so we'll just click the move tool, pick this, pick this direction, and do a little move to get it started and the create parameter button lights up, then I can say, uh, give it a, another name like uh, length. And that length could be uh, two millimeters or whatever I want it to be. So that is the process for creating parameters in SpaceClaim. Thanks for watching.